Welcome back. We're talking about holding the sugar in the dye and some great meal replacements, if you will, uh, with Fargo Medical Weight Loss. So let's start down there, Ryan. What do you have there? Some Italian zucchini lasagna? I got lasagna. the Italian zucchini lasagna. Biggest thing with this dish is they swap out the noodles for zucchini, and that drastically reduces the carbohydrate. Most of the other stuff in lasagna, not too bad. I mean, just you got the cheese, you got your meat, you got your sauce. Um, and this option tastes absolutely amazing. We've got a, a white sauce and a red sauce version, um, but this is just a good way to lower the sugar intake on your Italian nights, or if you're gonna do yep. lasagna. So just for clarity, I'm going home, I have dinner, need to have dinner for my kids, I can stop by your place, pick that up, throw it in the oven for what, 45 minutes, an hour? Yep, yep. so you can cook them from, like some people will throw it in the fridge and you can cook it from a thawed state, or you can cook it right from frozen. So if last minute you have one in your freezer at home and you're like, we don't have dinner plans, you can throw it in there and cook it from frozen. It'll just take a little bit more time. But when you compare this to like a Stouffer's lasagna, like a take and bake from the grocery store, there's five and a half teaspoons of sugar in one serving and only 13 grams of protein. We want to get about 30 grams of protein. So you'd have to eat two servings of it to get that protein. Brings it up to 11 teaspoons of sugar, whereas this is only about one teaspoon. Wow. Per nice. serving, Huge but difference. with more protein. And everything's good with cheese, so you're not really losing yeah. anything by yeah. losing the noodles. What do you yeah. have? I have a cheeseburger pie. So compared to like a McDonald's quarter pounder, roughly close to the same amount of protein and calories, again, not terribly different. But this one, instead of eight teaspoons of sugar in a, in a quarter pounder at McDonald's, this one only has one teaspoon of sugar per serving. Um, and it's got a layer of cauliflower, rice cauliflower at the bottom with cheese, which kind of tastes like hash browns with like a mustard nice. sauce in it cheese, bacon, and ground beef, and some seasonings, and it's delicious. All natural foods, yep. homemade. No preservatives, all homemade. great <laughs> homemade ingredients, the ingredients that you can find at the grocery store. And what yep. I'm seeing there is it's only 10 bucks, and it's gonna probably feed my whole family. 19.99 for, oh, 19, yep, okay. but, but six still. servings. Yeah, and nice. they reheat really well, so for your lunch the next day, you could even heat up a little bit of it for breakfast the next day if you wanted to. You said this one's popular? That is our most popular yes. one, and also, I. Pretty sure both of our favorites. Yep, yep, <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah, it's it replaces pizza. Yep. I mean. Yep. So it's instead of the crust, you throw some chicken under there, so you're getting more protein, but topped with all of your ooey gooey delicious pizza ingredients. Um, a little less than one teaspoon of sugar for a serving of that, whereas in a large slice of uh, pepperoni pizza from P Pizza Hut, it's 12 teaspoons of sugar. Such a huge difference. So 12 difference. teaspoons wow. of white table sugar. It's a lot. So uh, what we do with the food is basically you don't have to change the types of foods you love. You just have to change the carbohydrate yep, base. A couple so of for, ingredients. Yep. So for things like pizza, you throw the crust away. For things like Mexican food, you throw the tortillas away. Mm -hmm. uh, nachos, if you just change the carbohydrate chip, usually if you can get a higher fiber, uh, lower carbohydrate chip, you can have all the macho nachos you want. Because everything else that you put on those, the sour cream, the guacamole, the cheese, the meat, that's perfectly fine. It's just that carbohydrate chip that's shooting up your insulin levels and causing you to put on body so weight. So I can eat all the guac I want? <laughs> yes, avocado's great. I love that. <laughs> all right, so quick, let's talk about uh, how can people get a hold of you, how do they stop by, get some of your great food. Give us a call if you have questions. Um, you can email staff at FargoMedicalWeightLoss.com um, or stop in and we'll show you all of the products that we have um, and kind of talk to you about it. We'll give you a, a rundown. Yeah, you don't actually have to set up an appointment or give us a call. You can just stop in and pick up the food. So if you're driving home tonight and it's 515, just uh, stop on by and we can put dinner on the table for you. To both you guys, it's great stuff. Yeah, good stuff. I love that convenience food. That's good yeah. for healthy yeah. for your family. It's so hard to find that. So mm -hmm. thank you guys very, very much. Yeah, yeah, thank thank you. you. All right, stick around. We come back. We're going to be playing some tunes for you right after this.